Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the month, we once again consecrate ourselves to the most sacred heart of Jesus. And as we celebrate today the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, let us entrust ourselves to the maternal care and intercession of our Mother Mary. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts that we to whom the Incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by His Passion in Cross, be brought to the glory of His Resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith 
who were children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed, along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law, and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart and the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Please stand. Alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? 
therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits more wicked than itself who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we face different battles every day. From the moment we wake up until the time we sleep at night, there are battles we confront. In fact, even waking up could be a battle. Hirap na hirap gumising sa umaga. We battle with traffic to go to work or to go to school. We battle with our tasks that need to be done. We battle against people who go against us. There are more serious battles that we face. We battle against deception and lies prevalent in society. We battle for the truth. We battle against poverty. We battle in order to survive, especially now that our economy seems to be battling in order also to survive. Maraming tunggalian na hinaharap natin araw-araw, lalong-lalo na ngayon na hirap na hirap sa buhay ang marami sa atin. Dahil sa nangyayari sa lipunan, dahil sa uri ng pamamahala, dahil na rin sa kahirapan. We battle many battles every single day. And our readings today also talk about battles. In our first reading, St. Paul makes the Galatians aware of the battle between the spirit and the flesh. And St. Paul was reprimanding the Galatians because they were regressing. They were already living in the spirit of Jesus, but now they are going back to living in the flesh. They are losing the battle. And Jesus in our gospel today talks about the battle between God and Satan, between good and evil. And we know that between God and Satan, the battle is not equal because they are not equal opponents. For God is definitely more powerful than Satan. 
But even if God defeats Satan, Satan does not give up. He continues to battle in the world. He continues to battle in the lives of people. He continues the battle in our hearts. There is a continuous struggle between goodness and evil, between God and Satan. My dear brothers and sisters, today's feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary is also connected to battles. While praying the rosary was introduced through St. Dominic in the 13th century, it was only three centuries later when the devotion to Our Lady of the Holy Rosary became popular among people. And it started when on this very day, the 7th of October in 1571, the Christian fleet won against the Turks in a battle at Lepanto. While there was an ongoing battle between Christians and the Turks, the Christians in Rome gathered in the basilica to pray the rosary. And they credited the victory of the Christians through the intercession of Our Lady and through the power of the Holy Rosary. And so the devotion to Our Lady of the Holy Rosary became popular and eventually it was included in the calendar of the church. My dear brothers and sisters, we face battles every day. And sometimes we think that life is just about winning over battles. Kaya nga hindi ba minsan sinasabi natin, laban lang, laban lang. Kasi nga merong tunggalian na nangyayari sa buhay. Pero walang dapat lumaban na mag-isa. Lumaban tayo pero kasama ang Diyos at ang ating mahal na ina. Life may be a never-ending battle, but with the grace of God and with the intercession of Mary through the Holy Rosary, we will always attain victory. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary. For every petition, let us say, Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That like Mary, the Church may ponder the mystery of God's life and love revealed in Christ and the events of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us, us through, through the, the prayers, prayers of the, the Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. That nations may turn their weapons of war and mass destruction into tools of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us, us through, through the, the prayers of the, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary. That in union with Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us through, through the, the prayers, prayers of the of Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. That through Mary's motherly care, the sick and the sorrowing may find healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us through, through the, the prayers, prayers of, of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. 
that the faithful departed may enjoy the vision of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless, bless us through the prayers, prayers of the Virgin, the Virgin Mary. Mary. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. And we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rosary and the message of peace that Mary brings to our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
please stand? Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We are blessed that as we celebrate today the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, the Vicaria image of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, La Naval de Manila, is with us here at the Manila Cathedral. And so we invite you to come and to pray before her image, to light candles and offer flowers and bring to her our petitions so that through her intercession, she may bring them up to her son, Jesus. After this Mass, we will venerate the image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And we also wish to thank our pilgrims from the Mater Ecclesiae School in San Pedro, Laguna. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta ngayong umaga dito sa Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.